Hey everybody, welcome to Style Wednesday. It's the Queen of Style and I am here live, live, live. Tell a friend, tell a friend that we are on. It's 701, sorry, 703. Where should you be? On Style Wednesday with the Queen of Style. Guys, yes, yes, yes. Share the video. Let everybody know that we are live. It's Hey, Fashion Mom, thanks for joining. How are you doing? Yes, 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 yes. I know you love the necklace, definitely. So, hey, Teresa, how are you? Thanks for joining in. Guys, share the video. Let them know we're on. It's the last Wednesday before we end Black History Month. So, you guys know, we're going to talk some Black History in the fashion aspect. It's all about fashion. It's all about the fashion world. We're going to give you some insight on fashion, 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 fashion. And we're going to talk about today the supermodels. Okay? The black supermodels. Yes. Yes, guys. Queen of Style is on. We have black. But we have color. You guys know we love color. Multicolor matching lipstick from La Coiffure Cosmetics. Guys, take a look. Okay? Guys, remember, we are here, we are live, it's Style Wednesday, it's 7.04, where should you be? With the Queen of Style, talking about fashion tips and trends and styles and what's in and what's not in. Okay, so here we are. So I'm going to start, guys. My first, as I said, it's Black History Month, and I want to bring the Black History to a new aspect. What we're talking about this week. The fashion supermodels, the first supermodels, black supermodels that made it international. When I talk about international, I talk about Milan, Italy, Paris, you know, France, you name it. They're there. And they were on the covers of these exquisite magazines. And they paved the way for a lot of supermodels that has made it on the international market. Thank you, Fashion Mon. It's Fun Z by Boss Lady. Yes, that's my lip color. Yeah. So when you think about that, guys, you want to make sure that we understand who paved the way for us. Who? Hey, Geneva, thanks for joining on. Yes, Beverly Johnson was one. Marilyn, thanks for joining. Valerie, thanks for joining in. Guys, I got my regulars in the house. Love you guys. Thanks for joining in as usual on a Wednesday. First, we have Dorothy Church. Guys, those of you who, do, who know Dorothy Church, she was the first successful block fashion model that made it in France, in Paris. Okay? She lived from 1922 to 7, 2006. And she started doing fashion. Yes, yes, she started... The Lori Penny, thanks for joining in. She started doing charity fashion shows on the West Coast. And it was just for church. It was just charity at the moment. But then she went to France. And she actually was filling in as a substitute model for one of Christian Dior's regular models who was on vacation. And she ended up being a regular with... Christian Dior for many years. And that's how she started. Then she worked with Jacqueline Tate, Pierre Ballman, Robert Piquet. And in 1954, she went back to New York, where she was actually in Jet, Ebony, and WZ. Who remember Jet Magazine? Guys, those of you who remember Jet Magazine, just tell me you remember Jet Magazine. Remember Jet Magazine was one of the top magazine in the industry at the time that displayed black fashion designers, black models, black style, black artists. Jet Magazine was the magazine back then. So those of you who remember Jet, definitely say you remember Jet, but Jet Magazine was back then in the number one for black African Americans to be viewed in. So, she was actually one of the first of Dorothy Church, all right? So, when you think about um, Naomi Sims, those of you who know Naomi Sims, Naomi Sims was the first African-American to appear 
on the cover of the Home Journal. And this was in November 1968. And she was, again, known supermodel. She faced several, you know, critiques back then because skin tone is too dark, not the right fit. You know, all of these scenarios that we have actually, um, not say that we have passed some, but they have now been somewhat approved, right, for us. New York Times, she graced the cover of New York Times in August 1967. She had a TV campaign with AT&T Wayne, a designer of Bill Black, and that was her breakthrough. And she lived on, that was 1960 to 1970. And so she was one of the second that paved the way for a lot of these black models that's coming. Donnell Long, August 48 to May 79, the first black model to appear on the cover of British Vogue. Okay? And that was in May 1966. Then she was in 1965, she was on Harper's Bazaar. So guys, we have talent. Black history talent in the model industry. Okay, these were some of the first black models who paved the way for Naomi, Tyra, Iman, all of these guys in the industry right now. So we have to appreciate and celebrate them right now. It's Black History Month. What are you doing? How can you appreciate something that is that was open to you? And this is where we want to go. We want to be black, we want to style black, we want to, you know, know your history. Basically, that's why we have this month. And I want you guys to make sure you're educating those of the younger models who want to make it in the industry. They have to know where it started, how it was started, and who paved the way for us to make it happen. And, and, you know, and definitely these are some of the amazing supermodels that has made it and paved the way for those who are now upcoming. A lot of us know the newer ones, but... We have to still research our history and know that these black supermodels are actually all out there. Some of them are still living. Some of them have passed. Some of them have shared histories. So definitely you want to know that. Okay, guys. Le Coffre Style the Runway is on its way. Le Coffre Style the Runway, hashtag LCSCR 2020. Mirror, mirror on the wall. And also, who's the fairest of them all? Le Coiffer is. Guys, it's going to be epic. It's April 18th, 2020. Okay? It's a Saturday. Tables, VIP tables starts from $300. Seat and six. Oh my God, Mauricio, how are you? Oh my gosh, it's been years. Thanks for joining in, Mauricio. And table of six, VIP bag valued up to two fifty. Adjourns wine dinner served for three hundred dollars. Get your tickets now. VIP seating, guys. VIP seating forty dollars. Adjourns gift bag and wine. We are actually getting ready. It's getting me excited. My team is excited. Every day they're giving me new updates on what's happening. And I'm loving what I'm seeing. As I said, you guys know that Le Coffer Fashion Show is an international show with 15 international designers coming to New York City to show their spring 2021 collection on the runway for the first time. What I can tell you is that my team has pulled out all the stops, okay? It's five years. We are celebrating five years. And when we say five years, from the Dumbo, New York, where we closed that place down where there was not even standing room, those of you who attended that show, people were outside looking at the show. Guys, from the Dumbo, New York, to the Watson Hotel, five years consistent i can't thank you guys enough for the love that you have given to me and my team to make this an incredible five years five years the coffers style the runway okay so 
Hey Sharon, how are you? Massive B, Massive B. I hope to see you at the show, Massive B. Don't disappoint me. I want to see you there up front and center. Hey Zika, how are you? Yes, five more years. Guys, five years didn't just come by us just waiting around. We took five years, we built a brand. The brand was built before, but we wanted to do something that was different. As a Caribbean born and raised female entrepreneur, we, want, we created the way for the international market. And Le Coffre has done that for five years. And we did that with perseverance, with hard work, with consistency, with, you know, <laughs> working on an hour of sleep every night until we got what we wanted to do. We got the goal in. And it wouldn't be happy and possible if you guys didn't support. So thank you guys for all your support. All the designers that I've worked with over the years on an international market and a local and domestic market. I want to tell you guys, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Yes, yes, I can't wait for you to rock the runway either. So guys, April 18, 2020, models, we have at least, I think it's 80 to 100 models, 15 designers, makeup artists, hair artists. We have entertainment. I, I'm not supposed to say, okay, but it's going to be epic. If you want to know what's happening on Style the Runway, April 18th at the Watson Hotel. Doors open at 5 p.m. Showtime, 6.30, and the doors will be closed. So, guys, get there on time. Mix and mingle. Five years. Five years of what we can say hard work. You understand? And we run a tight ship. We run a tight show. And you guys come out and have an amazing time. So, let's get back to style news. Before I get in there, let me thank um, Jessica. I'll congratulate her for making the cover of Fashion Avenue Caribbean February. And here she is featuring amazing designs by Carlene out there in Connecticut. Jamaican Carlene designer. Yes. Good job, Jessica. Thank you so much. Amazing work. Carlin, absolutely a fabulous designer. She's a bridal designer. If you're looking for something for prom and wedding, Carlin, DM her. Lin Carlin Lindsay Designs. She's actually an amazing, amazing, amazing designer. Check her out. So, guys, I got some sign news. You guys going to be excited. You guys going to love it. Listen, in sign news, here, here's what's happening. Okay. The coronavirus. Some people are saying it's contained. Some people are saying it's not contained. However, Apple is warning China of the losses they're impacting right now on the iPhone. Okay? So that's huge. When you think about it, China has now released that they are actually importing to the U.S. So people will be getting their products, manufacturers, I mean, um, retailers will be getting products, wholesalers will be getting the products. So that's good news. So the market is now opening up the pipelines again for distribution. And when you think about that, you know, it has a, everybody, around, it, it's just affected everybody around the world. But I hope that they understand. And I think, you know, with Apple, I think that um, it's affecting them a lot. So they actually did a blog and a press release about it. So check it out. All right, guys. B. Smith, one of our amazing former supermodels, passed away on Sunday. Guys, she was amazing. She did her thing. Again, she was great in the industry. What else? Guess, who, guess what's happening on the runway? Guess what's happening on the runway by Fendi? Fendi cast its first plus size models. Okay? Fendi casted its first plus size models. So look out. Plus size will be hitting. When I say plus size, plus size will be hitting the international runway. Guys, 
this is this has come such a long way when you think about you don't have to be a zero which your waist is like 20 your hips are like 25 and your bust is like 28 Fendi casted his first plus size model in history. Fendi had made history by casting his first plus size models. And this is a big deal. Okay, so look out for the runway. Look it out for Fendi. They will be showing some curvy plus size models on their runway coming soon. All right. Models, this is a very, very, very serious situation. The fashion industry... We have models. You guys got a lot of DMs. If you go have a manager, you have an agent. I would say models out there, try to get an agent. Try to get a manager. Try to book yourself. Because last week, what happened? A fashion company owned by Peter Nagard was arrested for child trafficking. Okay? And these are for minors. He's, he's a big person in the fashion industry and this happened and like you want to be aware of who you're meeting who you're greeting who you're booking your gigs with because that is huge and when i think huge it is major so you want to make sure that you know what you're doing so before we get into get into i have my i actually have my amazing Girl, here she's working. As I told you guys last week, let's make a statement. Black History Month. We want to make it with black. We're wearing black. We're talking about black. I have an amazing design here by Myrna Patterson from Guyana. And my mannequin, she is working. So I'm going to show you. Guys, what do you think of this? If you look at this, I actually gave a shawl because it's sleeveless. And this is something that you will wear on a night out. Whether it was friends, whether it is with dinner, whether it's just a, a, a elegant evening. And she's with an amazing choker. And if you look at it, the detail. What I love about this gown is the detail on the side. Look at it. And on the trail. Tell me. Yes. Yes. I gave her a big choker so she could have her neckline shown. And as you see, it's definitely black. And as I said, black is elegant. It's fierce. It's, it's something that makes a statement. And if you have something like this in your closet, you definitely can dress it up or dress it down. If I remove her shawl from her shoulders... It will look less elegant. It will be a little bit more casual, as you can see. So it depends on how you want to wear it. Now it's really looking casual. So the shawls give it a lift and make it look a little bit more elegant, a little bit more sexy, a little bit more, you know, romantic, as we would say. Elegance. As I said, I love the patent leather on the sides because that makes it give you an edge towards it. This is something, again, you could dress up as an evening out or you could dress down when you're just thinking of just hanging out. But the side and the letter on the side actually gives it a different look. See, guys? Yes. Love it. Guys, don't forget. Order up your skincare line. We are getting amazing reviews. It's on the website, www.lacoffernyc.com. Also, take a look. Le Coffre Style, The Runway, international show. A show that you would enjoy like no other. Come on out for a night of fun, entertainment, and fashion. I can't, I can't stress it. Hey, Shaul, how are you? Thanks for joining in. So, what do we have going on in the world of fashion? April 4th. Fashion and the Hudson casting called Chelsea Studio from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. April 11th, UBM Hair Show, Natural Hair Show. We will be having a vending table there with the Boss Lady Cosmetics and the Corfra Skin Care line. Come on out, and that's on the Watson Hotel. On April 18th, it's about to go down. The Corfra Style, the Runway 2020. 
five years we've been doing this. We're gonna celebrate big. We're pulling out all the stops. We're gonna make it an epic, epic moment. Guys, as I said, remember your history. You know it's Black History Month. Celebrate Black. Make sure that you are educating everybody in Black because this is actually Black History Month and we want to talk about the Black models that have made it an international platform for other models to make it in their way. So, guys, it has been an amazing week so far. Those of you who are celebrating, celebrate. And remember, this is Style Wednesday. This is the Queen of Style. Remember, don't let the fashion wear you. You wear the fashion. Until next week, Wednesday, I'm going to tell you guys, have a fashionable week, and we'll see you then.